Hello and welcome. In this video series, I am going to assume that you are a complete beginner and teach JavaScript to you. Okay? JavaScript is a high level object oriented programming language. Now what does it mean? We will see later. It is one of the most popular and dynamic language out there. Initially, JavaScript was used to add interactivity to web pages, but now it is used to create powerful web applications and also mobile applications for Android and iOS. Okay? This is why companies like Google, Netflix, Facebook and Apple use JavaScript to create their products. So learning JavaScript has a lot of advantages as you can work as a front-end, back-end or a mobile developer. Alright? So without further delay, let us start learning JavaScript. Alright? Now, there are a lot of code editors available which can be used to type in the JavaScript codes. But as you are an absolute beginner, I do not want you to go through the process of downloading it and installing it. Instead, we will use an online JavaScript compiler. Alright? So go to google.com and search online JavaScript compiler okay and you'll get many results you can choose anyone but I prefer the one by onecompiler.com okay so I'll select this I'll select this to get this screen okay so let me delete this let me delete this on the left side I have an area to type in the JavaScript code and on the right side I have an area where I can see the result. Alright, so let me zoom in. Let me zoom in so that it is easy for you to see the codes. Okay, now let us write our first program. I want to print exactly like this. Okay, I want to print whatever I am seeing here. So, how do I do it? To print it out we will have to use a function console.log okay console.log now what is this console.log or what does it mean we'll see later all right but this is the code that is used to get something as output so console.log and inside brackets inside brackets and inside quotes inside quotes we need to type in this exact thing okay so let me go here and say my first program all right my first program so it is console.log and in brackets and in quotes my first program so let me run it so to run it you just have to click on run button here and you see the output my first program okay my first program so we have successfully got this as output all right now if you want to change this output all you need to do is change here all right so i'll say my name is anita okay so my name is anita so when i run it i'll get my name is anita as output all right so console.log is what you use to get an output okay or to print something out if you have learned any other programming languages before then this is equal to this is equal to print function okay this is equal to print function now let me proceed further I want to get exactly this as output okay I want to get exactly this as output so let me go here and delete this delete this 
and inside brackets and inside quotes i'll type 100 slash 50 okay 100 slash 50 now when i hit run i get 100 slash 50 as output okay so here this is what i wanted and this is what i have all right now let me delete the quotes let me delete the quotes and see what i get so i'm saying console.log and only inside brackets and not inside quotes i'm saying 100 slash 50. so let me run this and you can see i get an output of 2. so what has happened here what has happened here is javascript has evaluated or the compiler has evaluated this and has given the result okay so 100 divided by 50 is 2 the compiler has evaluated this expression or it has solved this and has given the result okay but what happens if it is in quotes if it is inside quotes it is printed directly as is all right so compiler will not solve this and give the result okay so now 100 minus 50 let me say 100 minus 50 when i run it i get 100 minus 50 as result because this is inside quotes so when i re remove the quotes and when i run it i'll get 50 as the result of this expression okay so this has been solved and the result has been printed here okay so same goes for plus let me run it 150 all right so plus minus divide is done what about multiplication for multiplication we use star symbol okay we use star symbol now this is available on your keyboard on number 8 okay so on number 8 you can find this star so let me run it let me run it so i get 5000 as output now what about double stars what about double stars let me run it <coughs> and i get this as a result double stars is equal to power okay for example let me take smaller number here 2 double stars 3 is nothing but 2 cubed okay 2 to the power of 3 so let me run it to get 8 as result so single star is multiplication double stars are is power okay double star is power so if you want to raise a number to some number to the power of some number then you need to use double stars okay next i have my first program correct and we had quotes here we had quotes here so let me run it let me run it to get my first program now what will happen if i do not type quotes here so let me run it and you can see i have an error here all right i have an error now this is not a mathematical expression to solve correct this is what is called as a string we'll talk about strings later but if you have characters if you have characters and if it is not a mathematical expression then it has to be inside quotes okay so quotes are required to print it out all right next let me proceed further i want to get this as output i want my in one line first in second line program in third line all right so let us see how to do it let me go to this and let me say my here and in the next line let me say console.log and here first okay and here program 
okay now when i run it i get my in first line first in second line program in third line okay just as i wanted i have here okay i have it here all right so this is one way there are multiple ways so let us check out one more way let me delete this let me delete this and say my and and say first and i'll say program okay and now i will run it to get it in a single line now where do i want to insert a new line it is here and here correct it is here and here so what we do is we use new line character okay which is nothing but backward slash n backward slash n puts the words or anything that comes after it in a new line all right so i put backslash n before first and now let us check out the result so we have my in first line and everything after this in the second line okay so we are almost there we want program in the third line so we'll say backward slash n okay backward slash n. now let me run it to get my in first line first in second line program in third line okay so this was printed in first line and after this what is there it is printed in the second line okay next after this what is there it is printed in third line okay so backward slash n is a new line character new line character it is used to put something in the next line or get something in the next line okay this is one more way one more way is let me delete this let me delete this instead of using double quotes instead of using double quotes we use tick okay now this tick is available on the keyboard and it is below the escape button okay below the escape button of your keyboard and before number 1 you have this button okay so we'll open it and we'll close it all right so these two are called as ticks and inside ticks put the data in the way you want to get as output so i want my in first line correct first in second line program in third line then that is how i have to type here all right now when i run it you can see i have my in first line first in second line program in third line and here if i say is sorry this and when i run it i get my first program is this all right so ticks can be used to contain strings all right like this now let me delete it it is okay now generally we use ticks in javascript all right so it is not only to get like this but you can use ticks to get an output in usual way so let me run it so you get my first program so you can use double quotes or ticks or you can even use single quotes all right so single quotes so single quote my first program single quotes so let me run it to get my first program as output so you can use single quotes, double quotes or ticks to get an output. But remember that you should not mix them. All right. So you should not have one single quote, one tick or one single quote, double quote, one double quote, single quote. No. Whatever you use to start, you have to use the same thing to end. All right. So now this will give me an error because I have started using single quote and ended using double quotes. So I have an error here. Alright. So don't do that. 
just use the same thing whatever you want to use all right next about semicolon all right semicolon semicolon is used to end a line of program all right just like we have full stop to end a sentence in english now this semicolon is optional that is you can use it or you can leave it to but it is preferable to use it okay sometimes i use it sometimes i do not use it but whatever you do maintain a consistency that is if you want to use it use it in every single line if you do not want to use it use do not use it in all the lines okay but there is no harm in using and not using but as i said maintain a consistency so you can see i have a semicolon here and when i hit run i get the same output okay so semicolon is optional in javascript okay next i want this as output i want to get this as output so how to do it for getting that for getting that we will be using a new line and a tab character okay so backward slash n is to insert a new line and backward slash t is to give tab okay so here we have multiple spaces now this can be obtained using tab on your keyboard correct now that is given in the programming world like this okay backward slash t so let me run it to get like this okay you can see this much space is given by backward slash t so this is achieved now we have program here which has two tabs all right two tabs so let me say backward slash n backward slash t backward slash t because we have two tabs we have, we have two tabs and it is in a new line so let me run it to get it like this okay to get it like this so backward slash t is used to get tab or multiple spaces okay this is the end of this video okay now the only way you are going to learn programming is by going out there and typing the program and executing it okay you are not going to learn by just watching the videos you have to get your hands dirty and code few lines so what i want you to do is go to an online compiler and type in the codes that we have learnt in this video before moving to the next video all right in the next video once again we will be continuing with console dot log function and learning some new things okay that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching